Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're looking at some more Crimson Invasion GXs, and this is going to be Alolan Executor GX. One of the more meme cards to come out of Crimson Invasion, but also one of the more interesting um, Alolan GXs, I don't know, I, I kind of like it, you know, I kind of like Alolan Executor. I don't think the card is great by any means, it's actually pretty flawed, considering... Um, it's got decent things going for it, but it is pretty flawed, um, and I think those flaws will hold the back being good, but I do kind of like Alolan Exeggutor, it's a funny card, um, and I do really like the full art Exeggutor, I think it looks kind of cool. Now, a lot of people are like, what's the best way to play Exeggutor? Everyone's gonna jump to the conclusion, Venusaur is, which, yeah, it is, Venusaur is the way to play Alolan Exeggutor. So, Alolan Exeggutor GX is kind of interesting, it's a stage 1 Pokemon with 220 HP, um, which is the same as Lol and Muck, and that's a lot of HP. If we've seen already on Gyarados GX, having that much HP is a really good trait to have on a GX Pokemon. Now, it does evolve from Execute. Luckily, we don't have an Execute with 30 HP. And in Standard, we have one with 50 HP, so we have a bit more HP to work with, which is kind of good. And it, Alolan Executor has three attacks. All of them, I think, are decent. The first one is Tropical Head. Now, this is very similar to an attack on a card called... A Gudra. If you look at Gudra, it has the exact same attack, except it uses Colorless. Um, I was going to try out a Gudra Venusaur deck. Uh, I just never got around to because I kind of ran out of time because uh, Crimson Invasion came out. So for a Grass, it does 20 damage times the amount of energy you attach this Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now this is decent because if you have two energies on, you snipe for 40. If you have three energies on, you snipe for 60. Now the cool thing with Tropical Head, you combo this with... Uh, Venusaur, why did the card, wait, did Executor and Venusaur to switch sides? I think they, I don't know, that's weird. Um, but yeah, Venusaur has the ability that will allow you to have two grasses as one energy, meaning one energy on Executor, one grass anyways, is going to be 40 damage for Tropical Head. Now, that's really strong. So, this is a good attack against Evolution decks. You hit something for 80 or 100, and then you de-evolve them. That's beyond later on. And it's not that much energy thanks to Venusaur. This hell kind of helps out some matchups. Um, then you have Dragon Hammer, which is not a bad attack either. 4 for 120 may seem like a lot, but because of Venusaur, it's literally just 2 Grass Energies for 120, which is 20 times better. Um, so, the Defending Pokemon is now confused. I mean, it's not bad, considering confusion, but again, with Guzma in the format, simply just retreating, and then you have Stand-In. I can't really say it's a good attack, but, you know, it gets the job done. You know, for 2 Energies with... Venusaur for 120. I mean, that's something not that's something not, that's pretty powerful. And then we have the GX Tech Tower Go Round, which is a funny name. And again, basically for two grass energies with Venusaur, does 180, which is a pretty good number to hit because you can knock out Lele's and whatnot. However, the choice band now you're doing 210, meaning you're gonna knock out a Gol um not Golem, uh, Golisopods and Nine Tails and Zoarks in one hit. Unfortunately, you're not gonna one shot Gardevoir's. Um, and then you move any number of energy from your Pokemon to your Pokemon any way you like. It's not a bad GX attack. Um, it's basically like Reuniclus's, um, or not Reuniclus, sorry. It's kind of like having, uh, like, Aromatis and Lunala's ability in an attack. It's not really useful because it's an attack and not an ability, but we'll try and make it work. I mean, you can combo this with Max Potion if you wanted to. Um, but we're going to maybe look more at a de-evolution approach, because we have cards like Latios in here. Something that I've always wanted to try out is this Latios. It's a really cool card. Its attack breakthrough is the exact same attack as um, Buzzwell's attack. Um, but it's for a DCE. Thanks to Venusaur, however, it's just one grass energy, and we can do breakthrough. So that's pretty powerful. So I do like Latios in here. Um, one thing you could also kind of do, you uh, Dragon Hammer them with a Choice Band for 150, and then you can finish them off later with breakthrough. We also play Coco. Obviously, it's nice to start with because it has um, a free retreat cost and has Flying Flip, which is a great ability. And you also um, can combo Flying Flip with Exeggutor and Espeon and Latios, so it's a pretty good card. Uh, and then we have our Espeon. This is going to be the uh, Ace in the Hole card. We come in late game, Espeon, Devolver. Oh, it's Pokemon with Exeggutor. All that damage we built up with Exeggutor and Latios and maybe Coco. And we just Devolve them with Miraculous Shine. Uh, pretty straightforward combo. We got our two Lele's for our, you know, ability to get our supporters. We got our 313 Venusaur line. Venusaur is obviously the heart of the deck. Without this, this deck is a little weak, because then you need way more energy than you need to put on Exeggutor, which isn't good. Um, but with Venusaur in play, it's easy to build them up. 
Um, now, some other cards you can put in this deck, you can put in, I guess, like a Tapu Bulu GX if you're crazy, um, because Tapu Bulu is a grass type, and you can use it really well with Venusaur. Some people were saying Genesect would be good in this deck, and I actually don't have any Shine Genesects. For some reason, they're super expensive on pubs, even though it's not even that good of a card, and it hasn't shown any promise being a competitive deck. I don't know why they're so expensive. <gasps> Anyways, Genesect is also a good option. You could probably cut... Maybe the Coco and Latio so and just run like two or three Genesects. I do want to make a Genesect video though very soon. I do have the hopes of this card, but I don't think it's like a great card by any means. Um, so yeah, let's go into the trainers and supporters. Two field blowers. This is a very heavily ability reliant deck. We got one heavy ball. Heavy ball allows you to get your executors and also your Venusaurs without having to Ultra Ball. Three rare candies to go into your Venusaur. We have Ivysaur. I'm going to play two Super Rods just to get back some Pokemon and some energy. Because energy is a big factor in this deck. Four Ultra Balls to be able to switch out for your Pokemon. I'm going to run in one Ace Rolla. Sometimes you can Ace Rolla your Executor and save it from being KO'd. And again, with Venusaur's ability, it's not too hard to have another Executor ready to go on the back run. One Bridget. Bridget turn one is important to get like Bulbasaur and two Executes in play. Three Guzmas. I'm just I'm going to go with three. Um, I like sometimes you could trap your opponent's active in this, you know, trap a Pokemon in the active spot, and then you can use Executor's Trouble the Head on something on the bench. Um, or you can Guzma with a Tower Go Round. I'm still going to play three regardless. You can also combo Breakthrough and Executor's second attack with Choice Band very nicely with Guzma. We got four ends for draw support, four Sycamores for draw support, three Choice Bands. Uh, I like having Choice Band because, again, Dragon Hammer does more damage. Even Breakthrough is hitting for 120 on Espeons, which is kind of nice, and Necrozmas, which is also kind of strong. Um, and Executor's Trouble Head does more damage to the active. Two Float Stones to be able to retreat for free, especially on Venusaur and even Executor because they have bigger retreat costs. We do play three DCEs, and I'm going straight up three for Latios, for Coco, for Lele, and even for Executor because Tropical Head for any energy doesn't have to be grass, so you can just slap a DCE on it. Um, and that's 40 extra damage. Uh, we got 8 Grass Energies. 8, I think, is a good amount for this deck. Um, considering we do have 2 Super Rods to Commonscape that. And yeah, this is my Alolan Executor of Venusaur deck. Let's go try it on PC Joe, and uh, let's see if we can let our memes be dreams, or dreams be memes, whatever it's called. I don't know. Let's try this deck out, and uh, see. Alright guys, let's get some matches with our Venusaur Executor deck. I have no faith in this deck at all. I think this deck is not good. But we're still going to try it just for the funsies. I mean, I traded for the Executor, so I kind of got to use them at some point so I can trade them off again. Mm -hmm. We're up against Guardi. Okay, this is a matchup that I wish I was playing against if I was playing my Sylvali Registeel deck or my uh, Zoark Metals deck, but <laughs> cool. Again, we are kind of made to beat this, but at the same time, we're not. This might not even be the Executor show, but no, judging from this hand, it has to be. Hand's pretty bad, actually, too. Really, game? <sighs> they gave me double super rod. Are you serious? Well, <sighs> guess we have to go Bridget here. We're actually in. I was going to do Bridget, but yeah, end's probably safer. Latios and Coco might shine this match, so I'll try that. I was considering the DC. I think if I get a Grass, I'll attach it. Okay, at least we got Bulbasaur and a Coco. That's pretty good. We have Executor for next turn, too. I think I'll attach. Like, even if he goes Lele, that's fine. Tempted to play the Heavy Ball just to thin out the deck, so I think I am. Because I just don't want to draw into that heavy ball. Grab Ivysaur. Yeah, we'll do that. Just just maybe increase the odds of me drawing something. Yeah, this matchup's pretty bad. <laughs> Obviously, Gardevoir wrecks your Executor. The only thing you have going for you is a Devolution. So it looks like Latios and Arcoco is going to be the main attackers. But Ko I, we could still use Executor. Double Candy is pretty good, but it doesn't matter when he has the Curlias. Especially if he drops a Vulpix or a Deontay. Just a Draining Kiss, wow. Can we knock him out? If we top deck, like, I don't know, Support or Choice Band, it's not the knockout. I don't even know if Executor is going to live next turn. Woo, Tropical Head for 20 on a Ralts. 
Alright, he's probably going to drop a rare candy Gardevoir here, and I'm probably going to get knocked out. Even though he's lost two rare candies, let's be real here. It's going to happen. You already know it's going to happen. And, and, oh, this guy's my savior. Alright, this is pretty good, actually. This might help us a lot, because we were in top deck mode. Maybe we have a shot of potentially trying to win? I don't know. Never mind! Another bad hand. Great. The only good thing come out of this is we can at least do more damage with Trouble Head. <laughs> we can do 80, so we can at least knock out Ralt now. Probably knock out this because I have a Choice Band on it. Maybe if I draw a Guzma, I can trap this thing and then just spam flying flip. Probably would be a good play, so... Yeah, if we could draw Guzma here. If we draw a Lele, I'm going to have to do Lele for something else. But Guzma won't be bad. Ultra Ball, probably going to draw Curlia. So I guess we got to snipe the Curlia then. Unless he still has Rare Candy Gardevoir in his hand. Okay, he's grabbing Curlia. Alright, so we'll snipe the Curlia then. Seems like a good play. He's probably going to evolve the active. Yeah, because he dropped those two. Yeah, he's retreating. Cool. Those two candy discards are bad. Pretty good. The artillery is the only thing that's kind of pushing me. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Hopefully our Lele isn't priced. It isn't. Okay, good. Our Espeon is not priced either. That's pretty important. So Super Rod... That's our last rod, too. That kind of blows. Plus, it wasn't for any energy. Sycamore. I was thinking of going for Guzma and bringing out this thing and then just sniping his bench, but I think it's safer just to do this. So I'm still going to have a dead hand after. Triple eggs. All right, cool. And we are going to Tropical Head, knock out that Curlia for 80, and we'll take our prize. We'll see what it is. An N, not bad. So yeah, next turn, we are looking pretty good. I'm still thinking the Guzma play on the Octillery is pretty good. Like, I might want to knock that out, too. Okay, never mind. He's going to add me to 5. Lele could also be kind of good, because Lele does do a lot of damage to Gardevoir because of Venusaur's ability. So, there's a lot of options to uh, knock him out. Alright, he's going to go Sylveon. Does he have a way to retreat it, though? Hmm, if I can find Choice Band, I'm going to Tower Go Round as Sylveon, knock it out. I can NM hope to hit the choice band. That seems fine. He actually hit the float off that. Jew, you gotta be kidding me. Even Sylveon knocks me out with Fairy Wind, so I kind of have to go for the end Dragon Hammer knockout. Or tower, tower, tower Go Round knockout. No, the Rare Candy Gardevoir. No, just when I thought I had a chance of winning after taking out that Curlia. <sighs> Gardevoir. The card that definitely does not need to be banned. All right. I wish that thing had damage on it so I could go tower, go round, knock it out. Maybe if I draw energy, it'd be safer to fly and flip him here. I don't know. I want to find the choice bands. I don't know. You hit it, knock out the Sylveon. That could be pretty big. But then Guardi knocks me out, so I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't matter. This Zikator is not living. It's not going to survive the turn. But if we do tower go round it, we can conserve the energy. So there's a lot of positives come out of this. So I think it is the best play regardless of what happens. So if we can find choice ban, this would be a really good play. Oh, come on, game. Are you serious? The one time I needed choice band. Oh, for God's sake. Bro, why? Mm, that's so bad. The one time we needed Choice Band, and we got trolled really bad. I guess so. I don't know. We'll put energy on Coco, and I guess execute to spread it around like butter. Maybe he will live next turn. He, be, I mean, he needs a DC and or Secret Spank Fairy, so... Zegator won't live here. He has a lot of options to knock me out. But we can fly and flip him. But we need to draw... 
a supporter. We're not drawing too well with this deck, which is kind of bad. So we see a Secret Spring. See where he puts it. Okay, so he is going for the knockout, unless he's retreating. He could be retreating. But he, he's got to take the knockout here. It's an easy knockout. He could even plea the Venusaur. That would be kind of bad, actually. If he did do plea, we'd be a little screwed. But no, he is taking the knockout, which is fine because it's not this thing. I'm actually fine with the Sylveon knocking out. He's actually going to lose quite a few fairies there. It's five fair energies that will go into the discard pile once we fly and flip them. Guzma. Huh? Okay. Was that a misplay on his end? I think he might have misplayed there. I don't know what that was. Well then. That just happened. We lose our poor execute, but that's fine. We have one in our hand. Rip. Oh, that sucks. If I had another Lele, that'd be nice, but I guess we have to just settle for Executor. Alright, I could grab Espeon, but I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to grab the Executor for now and just try and buy some time. We are taking two prizes here too, so let's see. What are our prizes? Sycamore, please? Nope. We get Latios. Latios isn't bad. Guzma's okay if we want to buy some time on the Octillery next turn. If Coco doesn't get knocked out, it might not get knocked out. It's only one, one energy, plus he's down a lot of energy here. Man, Sylveon Gardevoir, though, that combo is so broken. <laughs> we could Lele for Guzma and knock out this Executor. That could happen. But I'm glad he's putting energy on, because Lele. Lele is pretty strong here. Ooh, he's ending me. That could be pretty big, because we didn't get a support rock for our prizes, so that could be good. I kind of want to do that Guzma play if he doesn't knock me out, so we'll see. I think he is knocking me out, though. He's doing 120, of course he just. Gardevoir, you are broken. Please be banned. We found an energy. We could de-evolve him, actually, because he's short rare candies. He could then Twilight, I don't know. Maybe the Espeon play is okay. Kind of the only thing we got. I don't think Lele's knocking him out. Like, we put it on. That's four energies. That's 80, 110, 120, 130, 140. Hmm. Yeah, we're I think we're only doing like 180 damage here with Lele. It's still not enough to take out this Gardevoir. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is... <sighs> that is just a tad bit overpowered. Man, I hate Gardevoir so much, man. I used to hate Garboder, but... Yeah, Gardevoir is uh, clearly balanced. Ace Rolla. Nothing to really do with it. He's got one rare candy left, <laughs> so the odds of him drawing are still pretty high. Tropical Head for 40. I don't know if that's worth it. We're not drawing too well. Yeah, I think my best play here is just de evolve them and hope for the best. My only play. Force him to have to find rare candy and stuff like that. I'll see how well this works out for us. It's my only option, man. It's my only option. He, I mean, his hand's massive. He's got to have a rare candy, though, too. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And before, he could even drop another Sylveon, too. So our hand is absolutely empty. We're, we're completely in top deck mode. Probably has rare candy, though. Let's be real. Even though he's got one left, it's gotta be in his hand. It's gotta be. I already know it, man. I already know what's in his hand. You don't, you don't even have to... You don't even have to slow roll me. You, I know you got the rare candy in your hand. I know you got the knockout. I know what's happening. Okay, yeah, Sylveon, I mean, that works too. I think we're out of it. Okay, we have two ends. I don't know. We can maybe draw an end. That'd be kind of nice. That's almost last with supporters too. Okay, let's see where this goes. 
Curlia. Ooh, if he whiffs, I can knock him out here with Lele, and he's short on energy, too. Well, he still has DC, I guess, but it's not a big deal. Alright, he's going for Sylveon. And before it's prize, right? Yeah, he didn't stretch her. It's not prize rip. Maybe it's rare candy's prize, I don't know. Unless I can draw Guzma. Well, I could keep Espeon in him here, because this forces his Curlius to go back in his hand. He'd have to keep playing him down. I don't know. It's more energy down the drain, which is pretty good. I think that might be his last fairy energies, too. I think Gardevoir mainly plays 9. And there's Magical Ribbon. Dude, Magical Ribbon is going to be so broken once N rotates. Holy cow. This is going to force people to play Marshadow. How did how did the Pokemon people not think of this? Sylveon is so oh man, Sylveon is gonna be so broken when N rotates. This Gardevoir is already best second format. It's gonna be ridiculously broken. We draw an energy, great. Hmm. I can I think I'm just gonna keep the evolving him here. You definitely grab her candy, but I can still keep it up. I don't know where I want to put this energy, though. I guess we'll build up a Lele. Maybe take a big knockout. Let's de-evolve him again. Just keep up, keep it up. Just keep trying to de-evolve him. But yeah, dude, Gardevoir Sylveon is going to be so broken when N rotates. This I, N, is one, N is one of those cards that needs to stay in the format at all times. Because then you have cards like Sylveon, which will be ridiculously overpowered. I get if his rare candy's prize, this is gonna be a really good turn. I don't know if we can stall him with Espeon either. I mean he's gonna attack me, that works too. Maybe his candy was prize. At least our Espeon lives. He could even do plea here if he wanted to. Plea could be pretty bad. Nope, just a fairy wind. What do we draw? The heavens have listened to us. Okay. This is good, but not really though. I could have a float on, that's fine though. Might save that. Alright, let's energy drive him. see if he has anything. He's definitely going to go to Gardevoir. We'll see if it KOs me, though. If it KOs me, we can go into Lele here and hit him pretty hard with Energy Drive. That'll be my last play, and then maybe finish off Sylveon? Okay, Gallade's actually kind of bad, too. At least Gallade's not one-shotting other than just Espeon, so we'll see where the uh, Gallade goes. Hmm. Could see a Guzma on my Espeon, too. That could be kind of bad. He's got, yeah, he still has another Guzma left, unless it's prized. Hmm. This is an intense match, though. Hmm. Now it's me draining that pop. Okay, he's so gonna retreat, which I'm assuming he has a knockout, or else he wouldn't have done that. But he might have to just do DC, because I think he's gonna be out of fairy energies here. I'm surprised he hasn't used that much DC. He's only played one so far, this entire match. So broken. How much are we doing with Lele here? I think, I think we do have a knockout. Please tell me. I'm not going to bother doing the math. But I think this is a KO. Yep. This could be what we need. We just need to find that other Guzma now. Nope. Sycamore's nice. Yeah, we have to get our Guzma. We haven't found a Guzma yet, bro. <laughs> if we can find our Guzma, we win the game on the Sylveon. We'll see if he can get another Gardevoir. He might have that last rare candy. We'll see. This is in a pretty close game. Pretty close match. 
He's bringing in his own Lele, okay? DCE. Field Blower. Okay, how many Choice Bands do we have left? Might be our last one. I can't remember if I played two or three Choice Bands. I think I played three, though. Pretty sure I played three. Mm, if he had Guzma, he actually probably could have won. If he pre motioned for Guzma, and he could have just fairy winded the Executor or the Espeon to win the game. But it's kind of too late now, so it looks like he's devoted to this uh, Lele play. Unless he has a choice band in Guzma. Nope. Okay. 160. Oh, so it counts the energy. It's ridiculous. Ah, uh, we just go all in. We didn't hit Guzma, rip. Oh, we did, but we didn't hit Choice Band. I can't remember if I played more than one. I think he has game. I could retreat into Venusaur, buy some time maybe. And then confirm the win next turn. Like, next turn we have game. But I don't know. He's gotta have that other Guzma. He definitely would have Primo Wishing for it, so. Do we... How much are we doing? I don't think we have enough. 20, 40, 80, 120, 140. Actually, I think it is game. Yeah, it is. <laughs> ah, Executor beat Gardevoir. Oh my god. Oh, my, oh you're, you're, I'm telling you, man. Your, your dreams could be memes. I did not realize we had game there. My bad. Oh, we just beat Gardevoir with being. We just beat Gardevoir with Executor. And we actually used Executor. Wow. I mean, I don't know. Wait, wasn't I supposed to get 50 coins from that? Why did... Wait, where are my 50 coins? What the heck? Oh, Executor. Alright, let me check if I actually have the three choice bands or not. Yeah, I do. Okay. can't believe we actually beat that. Wow. You know what, guys? That's nuts. But after that intense match, I think I'm just going to wrap up the video. I mean, that game was nuts. We basically, we used everything. We used Coco, we used Venusaur, we used Lele, we used Executor. Everything in this deck was used. He didn't even knock an Executor. I think I'm just going to wrap up the video there. Like, that game was just insane, and I like that a lot. I think I'm going to wrap up the video. I know it might be a little bit of a shorter one. But it is Executor. It's not like I'm going to go crazy with Executor. I mean, it's not even that good of a card. Let's be real here. But yeah, that'll wrap up the day's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe more PDCGO content. Help me the road to 3,000 subscribers. That was a really fun match against Gardevoir. Pretty close game. Pretty insane match. And I'll see you guys on the PDCGO video. Peace out. Have a good day. Executor beat Gardevoir. I don't know what else to say, but that's insane. I'll catch you guys on another video. Help me the road to 3K subs. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And uh, yeah, Executor, the memes are real.